and gentlemen, welcome to the AMCF Estate Secure Program. The Secure Program, exactly what is it? One moment while we explain. The Secure Program comes from the Fourth Amendment of the United States Constitution, which says that every person, every person in the United States has the right to be secure in their persons, possessions, property, effects, and so forth. Every person has the right to be secure. And while having that right to be secure in your person, property, and effects, the law goes on to let you know that nobody can take anyone's property by the Fifth Amendment without just compensation. Well, ladies and gentlemen, do you know that you, when you take your vehicle to the Department of Motor Vehicles to get it registered, that the Department of Motor Vehicles becomes the registered agent for that vehicle? And that you have to pay a registered agent fee to them for providing you the service? I apologize. One second. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, it's just the life I live. I apologize. But I do have to explain to you guys about this automobile program. We've sent several documents to people. One, letting them know how to collateralize their automobile. Once they collateralize their automobile, they can now take that proof of collateralization to any small claims court. Their choice whether it's in their state or another state, and they can sue the Department of Motor Vehicles with that collateralization proof. Why? Because it shows the DMV does not have the right to take ownership of their property. If they were going to be the registered agent, they had to notify the property owner that they were taking control over their property and was seizing control over their Manufacturer Certificate of Origin, which is the birth certificate for the automobile. That is correct. The Manufacturer Certificate of Origin is the birth certificate for the automobile. They don't have a right to seize your birth certificate for your property. That is your property. You're the parent. You're entitled to that actual certificate, not a certificate of title, but the actual title to the property. So you have the right to now take them to court. We also provided other documentation that once you get those documents notarized, that actually shows as proof of your ownership. But in order to have absolute proof, you are going to have to take the DMV to small claims court. Remember, in most states, small claims court does not allow them to come in with attorneys. So you will literally be suing the director of the Department of Motor Vehicles. If your state allows for jury trials you in small claims court, you definitely want a jury trial in small claims court because it would be interesting if the jury were to find out exactly what the law allows and does not allow. Please go back, review this page of the amcf.estate website and understand what's going on. Remember, take your property and once you get your judgment, now you register it on the county record. Why? Along with your certificate of live birth evidencing your property if you really want to evidence your property ladies and gentlemen all you have to do is file a miscellaneous filing in the federal court and then get a certified copy of the filing that will take care of a whole lot of stupidity dealing with anyone who wants to challenge your right to your property you'll be getting an update from us soon we want to thank all of you for your faith hope and confidence in our programs. Remember, read the information on the site carefully because it tells you what the law is and what your rights are. Not from us, but from Congress and from the courts as has been delineated throughout the many court cases. Thank you once again for your attention and have a very good day.